Hi there, welcome to Noctis on YouTube. Ever think of a lifeboat as just another boat? Think again, it's the heartbeat of maritime safety. Every ship is required to have them, not just because of rules, but because when the sea gets rough, these lifesavers rise to the challenge. The world's best lifeboats are more than just boats. They are a beacon of hope. Built to be super strong and reliable, they ensure that people can get away from danger quickly and safely. When things take a turn for the worse out on the water, these boats step in to save the day. These vessels offer variety and innovation, from rapid water entry for emergencies to high-speed hovercraft. Witness these impressive boats in action, ensuring safety for all. The RNLI lifeboat hovercraft H003 is one of seven hovercrafts owned by the Royal National Lifeboat Institution, the biggest maritime rescue organization in England. This boat operates at the Hunstanton Station in Norfolk and can reach places where regular lifeboats can't, like muddy tides or soft sands that are too shallow for boats but too deep for land vehicles. It's really useful for saving people stuck by high tides or quick mud. The hovercraft H003 is named the Hunstanton Flyer and is the third hovercraft made by RNLI in 2003. Designed by Griffin Hoverwork, a leading hovercraft company in the world, it's a modification of the 470TD type. It is 6.88 meters long, 3.36 meters wide, and weighs 3.86 tons. Powered by two VW 1.9 turbo diesel engines, it can reach a top speed of 30 knots, run for three hours, and carry up to 10 people, including two to four crew members. H003 has many advanced features to assist in rescue missions, like a GPS navigation system, radar, VHF radio, searchlights, sirens, and flotation devices. It also has an infrared camera to detect body heat in the water or mud. Moreover, it has an air control system to adjust its height above the ground or water, avoiding obstacles or dangers. The H003 hovercraft has played a big part in saving human and animal lives around Hunstanton Beach. For example, in 2018, it rescued two adults and two children trapped in a mud tide near Heacham Beach. This boat often collaborates with other rescue teams like Coast Guard helicopters or air ambulances. The Tamar class lifeboat is one of the fleets operated by the RNLI around the coasts of England and Ireland. This boat is designed to launch from slipways or anchor in shallow waters. Introduced in 2005, it was the most advanced and safest rescue boat at the time. One of the standout features of the RNLI Tama class lifeboat is the Information Management System and Integrated Electronic System, or SIMS. This allows the crew to operate the rescue boat from shock-absorbing seats. These seats are designed to absorb most of the energy during impact, reducing the load on the crew's backs. SIMS also allows crew members to control navigation, communication and search systems from a single touchscreen. Additionally, the Tamar class lifeboat has anti-sinking technology that includes the ability to self-right from an overturned position with up to 44 people inside, an automatic fire extinguishing system in the engine room, an automatic bilge system that can remove water from the boat's hull, a stabilization system that can reduce the boat's movement when sailing or stationary a remote monitoring system that can check the boat's conditions and send data to a control center. The Tamar class lifeboat is 16.3 meters long, 5.3 meters wide, and weighs 31.5 tons. It's powered by two Caterpillar C18 diesel engines, capable of reaching a maximum speed of 25 knots with a range of 250 nautical miles and can carry up to 118 people.
The Vanguard SPHL, which stands for Self-Propelled Hyperbaric Lifeboat, is a rescue boat equipped with a hyperbaric chamber and saturation diving system. It's designed to evacuate and save divers from support vessels in case of major incidents. The boat complies with Solus 86 regulations and is approved by ABS and DMV. The Vanguard lifeboat can accommodate up to 24 divers, along with four crew members. It comes with a diesel engine, a generator, crew facilities and a life support system, providing self-sufficient survival capability for 72 hours. The Vanguard SPHL lifeboat can be launched using a gravity davit system, equipped with a lifeboat release and retrieval system, SISAFE hook. This system supports all launch and recovery functions in accordance with IMO Solus and ABS standards. The IMO is an international organization responsible for shipping safety and marine pollution prevention. The Vanguard SPHL lifeboat comes in various sizes, accommodating up to 24 divers per vessel. The lifeboat also comes with additional storage for essential supplies. The Shannon class lifeboat is one of the latest classes of all-weather rescue vessels deployed by the RNLI. This boat is also the first modern rescue vessel to use water jets for propulsion instead of traditional propellers, making it more agile and easier to maneuver than other all-weather rescue vessels. Entirely designed by the RNLI engineering team, the Shannon class utilizes cutting-edge technology to meet the demands of 21st century rescue services, building upon systems developed for the previous class, the Tamar class lifeboat. This boat is designed for faster and safer beach launch and recovery systems, but can also launch from slipways or moorings. The Shannon class is gradually replacing the Mersey and Tyne rescue vessel classes, which are nearing the end of their operational lives. Once rolled out, the entire RNLI all-weather rescue fleet will be capable of reaching speeds of 25 knots making their rescue services more efficient and effective than before. Following the tradition of naming lifeboats after rivers, the Shannon-class lifeboat is named after the Shannon River, the longest river in Ireland with a length of 240 miles. At 30 metres in length and weighing 18 tonnes, the Shannon is RNLI's smallest all-weather rescue vessel. With an operational life of 25 years, it's expected to provide rescue coverage around the coasts of the UK and Ireland for the foreseeable future. Both the hull and wheelhouse have a life expectancy of 50 years, allowing the boat's lifespan to be extended beyond 25 years with refits. The boat can carry up to six crew members, with a survivor capacity of 23 people if capsized, or 79 if not. It's powered by two Scania DI-13M engines, each with a power of 650 horsepower, driving two Hamilton HJ-364 water jets. Its top speed is 25 knots, with a range of 250 nautical miles. Equipped with advanced navigation and communication systems, it features radar, GPS, VHF radio, AIS, automatic identification system, and the Information and Command Management System, SIMS, which allows the crew to operate the boat's main systems from inside the wheelhouse or from external positions. The first Shannon-class rescue vessel was put into service in Dungeness, Kent, on February 21, 2014. To date, there are 29 active Shannon vessels in the RNLI fleet, both at stations and as part of the relief fleet. The Seven-class lifeboat is the biggest lifeboat used by RNLI. This lifeboat is 17.3 meters long and works in very rough seas, 
It started being used in 1996 and is named after the Severn River, the longest river in the UK. The Seven class lifeboat has a special hull design called Hard Chine, one of the first designs for the RNLI. This design makes the boat stable and easy to move in the sea. Its shape is like the Trent class lifeboat, another all-weather lifeboat. The boat's low side makes it easy to rescue people from the water. Like other all-weather lifeboats, the Seven class boat can turn itself right side up if flipped over. This lifeboat has two Caterpillar 3412TA or MTU-10 V2000 M94 diesel engines. Each engine has a power of 1,250 horsepower or 1,600 horsepower. These engines can make the boat go up to 25 knots and travel up to 250 nautical miles. It can carry up to 5,500 liters of fuel. The boat can hold up to six crew members and 47 passengers if it can turn itself right side up or up to 185 passengers if it can't. The Seven Class Lifeboat has many advanced tools to help its rescue missions like radar, GPS, different radios, electronic navigation, satellite communication, an emergency direction finder, automatic identification system, engine monitor, automatic fire extinguisher, air heater, and room temperature control. It also has medical tools like defibrillators, oxygen tanks, stretchers, and thermal blankets. Right now, 46 seven-class lifeboats have been made, and 44 of them are still working at different lifeboat stations around the UK and Ireland coasts. This lifeboat has been part of many dangerous rescue operations and has saved many lives. The Interceptor 48 lifeboat is a popular model from Safehaven Marine. It was specially made to handle very rough seas and keep pilots safe. The boat can also turn itself right side up if flipped by a big wave. One good thing about the Interceptor 48 is its big and comfy front cabin. This cabin has bunk beds, air cushioned seats, air cooling and advanced electronic navigation. It can hold seven pilots or up to 12 passengers if needed. The cabin's windows are thick and slant backward to reduce pressure from seawater hitting the front. Usually, the Interceptor 48 is powered by two Volvo D13 500 horsepower engines and two twin disc or ZF gearboxes, letting it go 25 knots. The boat is 15 meters long, 4.4 meters wide, and weighs 17,200 kilograms. The boat can also have a pilot boarding ladder to make getting on and off safer. The Interceptor 48 has been used by many international ports as a reliable, fast and safe pilot boat. Some ports using this boat are the Port of Cork in Ireland, Port of San Cyprian in Spain, Port of Montevideo in Uruguay and Port of Cape Town in South Africa. Certainly, to survive in the open sea, a lifeboat alone isn't sufficient. Life-supporting equipment is required to ensure survivors remain alive within the lifeboat, and these are essential for any lifeboat. The equipment in each rescue boat and its accessories might differ, but there are some mandatory tools and equipment that should be present. One such equipment includes a floating paddle set with two spares, a steering paddle, and five sets of mooring lines with their chains. Additionally, the rescue boat should also contain a boat hook, two props for each hole along with its chain. For boats equipped with automatic plugs, there is no need for regular plugs. Regardless of the type of lifeboat used on a ship, the most important consideration is to ensure it is released quickly and efficiently to assist those in distress as soon as possible. Hence, there are three types of lifeboat release mechanisms. On load mechanism. This mechanism focuses on the release of the lifeboat from its sling, steel wire rope, 
while people are inside the boat. It operates when the boat is about to touch water, ensuring a smooth landing without causing damage to the boat or harming its occupants. Off-load mechanism. This type releases the boat once it is fully in the sea. It includes a hydrostatic piston unit at the bottom linked to an operating lever. Once in the water, water pressure moves the lever upwards, releasing the lifeboat from its sling rope. Free Fall Lifeboat Release Mechanism The Free Fall Lifeboat has a release mechanism where the boat is launched from its storage position by operating a lever inside the boat. This causes the boat to slide down an inclined plane and fall onto the water's surface. That's the end of video. I hope you enjoy it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss our new video. See you next time.